That's all my stuff for the electric sink that I'm going to be installing tomorrow. <laughs> What is up guys? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yench and thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Today, I don't know why, but I just feel like sleeping in the back of my truck somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna be going far just because I have to get to work on installing the electric water pump into my camper tomorrow. So I'm gonna stick somewhere local. For now, I gotta actually take care of a quick little errand before heading up there. All right, let's just get going. Quite a pretty day we're having here in Southern California, eh? Yes, my check engine light is on, but it's just the charcoal canister, which is part of the emission system. So I kind of just keep resetting the code and I'll get to replacing the part eventually. But for now, I think that we're all good. actually misplaced my tripod. I can't seem to find it at the moment. So I'm gonna be shooting this entire video without the tripod. So bear with me, it's gonna be a little bit different of a vibe. Alright, no check engine light. That must mean the problem's fixed. Just kidding. I actually don't suggest that you guys just reset your check engine light if it comes on. Make sure that you actually go get the code red. Like I said earlier, mine is just the charcoal canister so it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get around to getting a new charcoal canister. So that's actually not what I came here for. If all I needed to do was reset the engine code, I could have done that at my girlfriend's house where I already was. But I was planning on fixing the sleeping platform that I have in the back of the truck right now. One of the legs is very wobbly and I think it became detached from the screws. So I was going to fix that, but my father who I was trying to recruit to help me lift it out of the truck bed is actually injured with a back injury. Uh, so I'm not able to do that, but I'm not that heavy so hopefully Hopefully for tonight it holds and I'll get around to fixing it another time. Okay, let's get moving. All right, I just got a few things at the grocery store and well, I've decided that out of all the times that I've car camped and truck camped, I've never actually stayed at a rest stop, strangely enough. I've always just, I don't know, I've always just felt kind of weird about it. Like you hear horror movies or horror stories of people like going to a rest stop and sleeping there and getting killed while they sleep. So I, I just never really, never really thought of it. So I think I'm gonna give it a shot. This is gonna be my first time ever sleeping at a rest stop. So that's the plan. I'm gonna head there now. The only, the only rest stop that I can think of that's in this Los Angeles area is about an hour away, I wanna say. It's like right before the grapevine. So I'm gonna head there right now and we're gonna hang out. It's gonna be good times, y'all. Traffic, baby. All right, home sweet home for the night. Thank you. 
honestly looks not too shabby over here. There's there's quite a bit of cars right now, and I don't see any signs anywhere that say no overnight parking, so I think we're gonna be good posted up here for the night. Now, I probably will at some point move my truck over to where the big rigs are parked just because it's a little bit more secluded, a little bit more private, but I don't know, I'm gonna feel it out. For now, I'm gonna get to cooking before the sun completely goes down so I have a little bit of light. We got this instant Indian food. Jaipur vegetables. And of course, my Uncle Ben Jasmine rice. All right, so you guys know me and I typically don't use this instant food, but seeing as we're at a rest stop, I didn't want to make like a big scene cooking like a huge gourmet fancy meal. Plus, I don't have a tripod, so that just makes everything easier or it makes everything harder to film. So we're gonna be sticking with these guys tonight. So the cool thing about these guys is you could just throw this entire thing into the boiling water and let it cook like that. So there's no mess really. Right, this looks really good actually. I've had I've had them before actually. I've never had the Trader Joe's brand, but there's another brand that makes really good ones. But this is my first time with the Trader Joe's. Let's try it out. Mmm. Hell yeah. That's really that's really yummy, y'all. That's a funny phrase. Yummy y'all. It's really yummy, y'all. Y'all, that's that's really yummy. If you guys like Indian food. This is definitely a winner. So convenient, so easy. Super, super clutch. I went to the bathroom to wash my hands and took a look at the vending machine because I realized that I forgot my toothbrush and toothpaste because I completely left in a hurry. But they had it in the vending machine. Hell yeah. That's, that's some hospitality right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, now that I have eaten and cleaned up, I think I'm going to cruise around the parking lot and look for a little bit more of a welcoming and homey spot to set up camp for the night.
Oh man. All right. I'm in the uh, I'm in the camper now, and pretty cozy in here. The sleeping platform is. You can't really tell in that, but it's really swaying, so I hope it doesn't fall in the middle of the night. Cop actually just drove by and saw me kind of setting up, and I'm parked over here in the big rig area, which I was kind of questioning if I was allowed to do that or not, and he just drove by without even stopping or glancing in my direction, so I think think that I'm good, hopefully, for the night. I'm probably not going to... I'll probably go back out. Well, I'll, I have to for sure go back out because I still have to brush my teeth and get ready for bed, but I just wanted to come hang out in here for a little bit. It's quite noisy here. I do have service on my phone, so I am going to be watching a show that I've been binge watching lately. It's called Alone. If you haven't watched it, it's phenomenal. It's basically another like survivor show where they're competing to survive 100 days alone in the Arctic, completely isolated. It is badass and crazy. I highly recommend it. All right. Before I get too comfy and don't want to get back out, I'm going to go brush my teeth, use the bathroom, and then get cozy and watch some Netflix. Okay. All right guys, I'm tucked away for the night got my Alone series queued up and ready to go. So I guess that uh, I'll just see you guys back here in the morning. Good night morning wow so uh i originally shot that footage that you guys saw a little bit earlier at 6 30 a.m when the sun was rising that's when i intended to get up and start the day but it was so cold it was so cold that there was no way i was getting out of my sleeping bag so i burrowed back in until eight o'clock which it is now so yeah i i slept quite a bit extra and the night went well there was nothing nothing too eventful oh there was there was like at one point there was this guy who was literally parked right next to me and he was screaming at the top of his lungs in his car and i was just like watching him through the crack in my window and it kind of like sketched out because i didn't know what the hell he was gonna do he was just screaming like you couldn't really hear it because he was in his car but i could just see him screaming it was really creepy it was really creepy but other than that the night went pretty smoothly all right i'm gonna get up man <sighs> oh, excuse me I'm gonna get up and start the day now. So real quick before we wrap up the video, I just want to say that my first night sleeping at a rest area went pretty smoothly. I think all in all it was a success, even though it was a little bit noisy at times. I will definitely add rest stops to my list of potential places to stay over the night when I'm on the road, traveling, or whatever that may be. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe even consider subscribing. Go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Yeah, you know the trail. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.